In 2016, Microsoft has released the modern UI, and this UI is quite confusing for the people that know SharePoint from the previous version, because you cannot find the button that you used to use. So I'm going to show you what is available only in the modern UI, what is available only in the classic UI, and what are available on both UI. So now we are straight away on the modern UI on a document library. This is a document library to store every proposal. If you click on the return to classic UI, it will bring you to the other one. And click again brings you to the modern. Clicking this button shows you the activity. This is one of the eight features that the modern UI has on top of the classic UI. The next one is the ability to create a link to any page. So in this example, I will create a link to Google so that the user can click this link and navigate easily to this page. Here it is. Two other options is the move to and copy to. I will not talk about these features because there is a great article covering those in my blog post. This one is about adding some fields directly from the end user interface. So that's really a benefit of the modern UI. You can easily group by this column approved so that when I drag and drop documents to the status no, every document will get approved set as no. This is really a time saver. Voila, it's uploaded. Another example that the modern UI has is to create mandatory column. The system will highlight if I omit keying those information. So here I create a column called manager that I make mandatory. It shows as yellow because I haven't filled this column. So once I fill this column, it will not require my attention anymore. Here I fill up the manager value and this color should go away because I have filled up this mandatory column. Another option is the color formatting. It's allowed to visually identify the field's value, making it more intuitive. So I shared on my blog some example. That's it for the modern UI. So now if we switch to the classic one, in the ribbon, we can see that there are some options such as email me a link, RSS feed, connect to Outlook, customize format, create workflow, open with Explorer. Those options are not available in the modern UI. And now we're going to switch to the last part. What are the features available on both UI? So even though the Windows Explorer is not available. You can still use OneDrive for both UI. And this is more intuitive with the modern UI because you can drag and drop and restructure your documents and folder directly from the interface. So for example, here I drag and drop documents. It will go in this folder archive. Okay, apparently I have one that exists, but that's fine. If I take a structure of documents and folder, I can directly drag and drop to the document library. So this is the ben one of the benefits using modern UI. Next feature is the metadata navigation and filtering. This is available by default on the modern UI. And for the classic one, you have to activate this feature. Once activated, you can see the folders and the metadata on the left panel. So first of all, we need to configure it by going to the metadata navigation setting. Here I say that I want folder and manager field part, part of the refinement panel. There it is on the left. You can see that I can filter by folders. This refinement by folders is not available on the modern UI, but you can still filter by other metadata. So let's switch to the modern UI now. I open the filter pane and I can see that I can filter by those metadata and 
dates but not by folder unfortunately one option is to pin this filter in this way this filter will always be on top okay last features is the quick edit this feature is available on both UI by right clicking here and then I can edit or if I go to the classic I can go to library quick edit and I get the same option don't hesitate to share what you would like to see and I will try to cover it hope it was useful and see you on the next one